Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 34. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make a login form for our admin panel. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, so far we have completed several things inside our admin panel where we have coded for our all these sections called add, list as well as delete and edit button. This is for the faculty, this is for the student type. All we have completed so far. And also along with these sections we have completed about migrations, about seeding, about inserting our fake data as well as now from the next video session, we are going to cover about the concept of middlewares. So basically to use the middleware, we are going to implement a login form so that this admin panel should more secure. For now, this is our admin panel. There is no login form so that if I run about PHP artisan serve command by hitting that command, it directly runs inside this port and there is no login form. We can directly enter into the dashboard. So we want to that firstly, user needs to enter the login credentials. After validating those credentials, we have to enter that user to this admin panel. So how can we implement our login form? So basically in starting stage guys as you have seen that we have downloaded called admin lte.2.4.5 This is the admin panel actually we have downloaded this is only HTML Inside this folder we have a folder called pages so if I click on the pages inside that we have called examples and also while not getting inside these folders if I click on just index.html Now that file has opened into our browser. Now as we can see that this is our admin panel which we are using to this admin panel. Now if I scroll down as we can see that if I scroll down inside this example section here we have called login form. So if I click on this login we are going to basically use this login form to implement inside this admin panel. We are going to use the same layout to this admin panel. So to use this login form, we have to go inside this examples folder. We have a file called login.html back to folder structure. Inside this pages section, we have examples and inside this examples, we have a file called login.html. So if I drag this file and open up inside our NetBeans editor, here is the piece of code as we can see, it contains some of the CSS links and this is our login form scroll down and here we have some script files so we have to make a separate layout inside the admin panel this is the layout basically for our login form so let's start to integrating this login form to our admin panel so if you go to browser inside the admin panel we want that while going through this URL something called login if I press enter we want that by clicking on this login we want to redirect on the login form so first of all we have to make this route back to our editor inside this editor we have a file inside a routes folder something called web.php and this is the file inside this file I am going to make a route basically for our login and logout so for now I'm going to develop only for the login form so this will be login get and we have a URL something called login this will use something our controller and uh, if we go inside the admin panel this is a HTTP folder inside the controllers folder here inside this controllers folder we have a file called admin controller so we are going to use this controller file Apart from this custom login form guys, as we know that in Laravel, there is a command if you go to slides here and let me type something called php artisan make auth by tapping this command, Laravel is itself make a login and registration form which should be in built feature of Laravel. But inside this tutorial, inside this video session, we are going to make our custom login. So we are not going to use this command anymore back to editor now let's me use about the controller something called admin controller inside this admin controller we are going to make a method and something let's say that admin login form and it has a name parameter something called name 
and uh, this name parameter something called its admin login this is our name parameter so save this file open our admin controller inside this controller first of all we have to just remove all the codes basically this was the code actually we have developed or the Laravel has developed when we have made this controller so get rid of all these things and let's say that public function and what should be the method name actually we have passed something called admin login form so copy this method name paste it here now inside this function inside this method we have to call a view file and that view file basically contains the code code of login form so return view and let's say that admin dot views dot let's say that login form so if I copy this file name back to our resources folder inside this resources folder we have got admin dot views so just I'm going to collapse layouts folder so inside this views folder we have a file called login form dot blade dot php this is the view file that we have created now we have to make a separate layout means parent layout for this login form so back to our layouts folder and let's say that this is the layout for our admin login so let's say login or let's say that instead of login let's say auth layout dot blade dot php now inside this auth layout we have to put all the codes what we have inside this login dot html file so if i copy all the codes and i'm going to paste inside this file let me close this login dot html page now inside this file called auth layout we have to correct all the syntaxes of this HTML elements according to our blading syntax. So if I get rid of all these things and here we are going to use a directive something called yield and instead of this static message here we have something called title. This is about yield. Now if I scroll down this is all about our CSS files and if I get rid of all these things and while attaching this assets file we are going to use something called our syntax and this should be the syntax called assets function so if I write something called asset inside this asset function if I copy this CSS path copy that get rid of that and inside single quotes I'm going to paste it here and also just remove this backward slash so let's go ahead and copy all the things here so this is for the CSS file and also I'm going to close this here so this is about exclamation sign and curly so I'm again I have to copy this syntax pasting it for here again pasting it for here and also for it here and at the closing point if I copy this syntax pasting it here pasting it here and finally here so all we have attached all this required access file for this auth layout and this is all about our font apis scroll down now next we have to attach our scripts files now for the script section if i copy the same code so go at the top copy this starting syntax scroll down and i'm going to here let's say that this is the file inside this this is the file and finally we have the file and also we have to copy at the close syntax so this was the closing syntax go at the bottom and I'm going to paste inside this jquery.mean.js this is all about bootstrap and this is all about icheck.mean.js now next we have to validate about all these files to our folder structure so what is the file name first of all we have the file name called inside boa components bootstrap dist css and we have the file called bootstrap.mean.css automatically this layout will be validated if we use this layout inside this login form.blade.php now next what we did we did that we have converted inside this ld directive only we have to define that we have actually connected our assets file and now next we have to connect with if i just get rid of all these things right now 
later on we'll make is as dynamic so right now let's say javascript and it should point about the void request and uh, let's say that this is for the login panel and only for the admin lt login form scroll down now this is our form tag so we want that all these things and also we don't want any of the social logins also this forget password so if I copy this login box code and let me close all these things inside this and this is all about div code so if I copy all these codes go inside this login form dot blade dot php first of all if I go here let me paste all the codes here firstly we we need to inherit about this layout so let's say that extends and this is the layout that we have made inside admin folder inside layouts folder and inside layouts folder we have a file called auth layout now next what we have to do we have to define our ill directive and this is the ill directive that we did so copy that let's say that section inside this section what we have the key name key name is something called title so let's say title and inside here as we can find that admin panel or let's say simply admin login this should be the title of that page and also we need to make the dynamic content here so let's say that this is all about the section content and finally we need to show about the show directive so basically we are using it for we have a mistake here and mistake is that this is a not right syntax to write actually our comment so basically this is the right way so it should be the dynamic content form okay now next we need to define this content go inside this login form and let's say that section here we have the called key content and finally we need to close that so end section inside this we need to write all the codes what we have to copy it from that HTML page inside this section so if I copy and paste it here let me make some formatting save this file all we have done now we have made a route of this login inside this login it has used a controller a method and this method has been defined here it, it is actually calling a view file inside this view file we have made a layout by extending this layout we have actually made all the required things so if I save all these things back here reload this page and as we can see that this is our login form for our administrator panel but right now it is not functional it is only a static form if I just get rid of all these things and this is our admin panel but we want that while entering inside this dashboard we want to validate that user by this login form by this login form it means that we have to firstly enter our email and the password while checking all these things from our database table while getting the correct user from our db table we need to enter into the dashboard also we want to remove this remembers me symbol from this login form back to editor go inside this html page and also this is all about the remember me code get rid of all these things and uh, for now if I write it as JavaScript void, list JavaScript void, get rid of all this HTML page link, save this page, back here, reload this page, all we have done now. So basically guys, from the next video session, we are going to use our some of the attributes inside this form, also CSRF token inside this form, and also we need to validate that user means email and password with our database table user. And finally, we need to make use of the concept of middlewares to protect our admin routes. It means that if I go to administrator panel, click on the add section, this is the admin route, means this is a dashboard route. If I click on add class, this is also a 
dashboard route basically all these routes inside this admin panel are should be protected from that invalid user it means that these routes should be accessible only once the user is currently logged in so basically by means if you want to secure all these routes we have to provide more securely by using the concept of middlewares so all these things we will cover inside our later video sessions so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day